If you're spending money on Google Ads and not getting conversions, I wanna say something that may sound really, really harsh, but it's true, and that is that the problem is not Google Ads. And the reason for why I know that it's not Google Ads is because I've used Google Ads to not only build my own business, but countless other businesses since I've been running Google Ads in 2010. And I'm not the only one that would say this. The pure fact that Google Ads grows every single year in the amount of money that businesses are spending on the platform, it really comes down to that core fact that when you get Google Ads set right, it works for your business. I've reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different Google Ads accounts, and for the accounts that aren't working, generally what I would say is the problem is, isn't actually inside of Google Ads. It's what's happening once they go to your landing page, and what you really need to understand when it comes to Google Ads, you need three core things for success. Yes, you do need the right structures and settings inside of your Google Ads account. But secondly, you also need to have a, an offer that the market wants. So that's not only just about the right pricing, but just the way that you're phrasing and putting together that offer, your returns policy, all of those different things that make up and really give people confidence in your product or service. And then thirdly, you also need a high converting landing page. And until you have those three things in place, so a great Google Ads campaign, a great irresistible offer, and also a landing page, you are always gonna struggle for success with Google Ads or any other paid ads platform. So in this video, let's really break down those three things so that you can see success and not waste any more money with your Google Ads campaign. And let's start with really understanding those three core pillars for success with Google Ads. And another way of phrasing this is that even if you've got the perfect Google Ads campaign, so what we're saying inside of your Google Ads dashboard, even if you've got everything set perfectly, you've You've got your keyword targeting on point, you've got your structure set right, you've got all your settings set right, so your location settings are dialed in. Even if you've got everything like that set right, if you're sending people to a poor offer and a poor landing page experience, you are not gonna be seeing conversions and sales for your business. So when it really comes to your offer, you really wanna make sure that you're making a really, really clear pitch to the user that it's making 100% sense. And let me give you a perfect example. A lot of people think that when we talk about you need to adjust your offer, or you need to update your offer, that we instantly mean a price drop or dropping your price. And a lot of time that is not the case. What it really comes down to is it's really, really being clear on, say for example, if you've got a more expensive product, why your product is more expensive. So why would someone pay 20%, 30% in time? You know, Sometimes some brands really scale this up to 500 times the price. Why would they pay more for your product as opposed to another product? You know, Over 10 years ago, we were working with a brand that had got some really good leverage in a certain marketplace. And then very, very quickly, other brands came in and started undercutting their price. And they, they'd start to see their market share and all of their sales and all of their core metrics drop. And we were able to reverse that trend because we were able to very, very, clearly make a compelling pitch to people who are buying the products why this product was 30% more. And what it came down to in this individual case, their largest market was in America and they had two core features above any other player in the market. The two core features was firstly, that they were the only player that met the full US safety standards. And secondly, their product was actually manufactured in the USA. So by really, really making it clear about those two points, on the landing page and within their ad copy, their total ad account performance turned around. We didn't change anything inside of their Google Ads account. It was purely about changing the messaging on their landing page and making it really, really clear why their product was that 25% to 30% higher. And the market was willing to pay that because of those two unique selling points. So when we talk about getting your offer right, don't just think about dropping your price, also think about the way that you're communicating and the way that you're pitching your product and your services. Secondly, when it comes to your landing page, running a Google Ads campaign is not just about driving traffic to your website. You need to not only be driving that right traffic, but once you get that right traffic there, you need to also, as I said before, be communicating the right things. Now, because your Google Ads landing page is such a massive topic, if you stick around to the end of this video, I will show you where you can access a video where I go through five data-driven principles that you need to include in your landing page. Because right now, let's jump in and explain this point further. And as I was saying, this is why Google Ads does not work for some businesses. And it really comes down to some businesses, they use Google as a last ditch effort, or they're just throwing what we call Hail Marys and just hoping that it works. But Google Ads can't save your business or can't grow your business. As we said, if your landing page doesn't convert, you have a bad offer, 
or you have no sales funnels or a poor sales process. And what I really, really wanna to communicate to you is that the harsh reality of Google Ads is that Google Ads only magnifies your current business results. So if your business is currently not getting any sales, starting a Google Ads campaign does not mean that you're instantly gonna get more sales. For Google Ads to work, what you need to make sure that you've already got your systems, your products, your services all in place. You then also need to have your landing pages and sales process in place. And when you've got that environment and throw Google Ads budget into your business, that allows the explosion to come through. So what you really wanna remember with Google Ads, it magnifies the current results that you're seeing inside of your business. The next thing that you need for success with Google Ads is that you need to use the right campaigns at the right time. There are all different types of Google Ads campaigns that you can run right now. So search, shopping, performance max, display, demand gen, video, just to name some of the most common campaign types. And they all have different purposes and they all function in different ways. For success with Google Ads, you really need to know how these different campaigns work and then you need to be using them in the right way. And let me give you a perfect example is when it comes to a campaign like Performance Max, this is a campaign type that Google will really, really recommend that you use. Performance Max is a great campaign. It's a campaign type that I use in most of my account structures, but I use it as a secondary campaign. What I mean by that is that I don't start with a Performance Max campaign. I will start with either a search campaign or a combination of search and shopping for e-commerce brands. And then we move into Performance Max when we've already got some bottom level performance. And the reason for that is because one of the core functions of Performance Max is that it takes the conversion data that's based in your current account to try and look for more conversions with the core messaging being there that if you don't already have enough conversions in your account, it can take a lot of time and money in order to work out what is the best converting traffic for your business. As a really, really simple key and a really, really simple guide, when it comes to your account structure inside of Google Ads, you should be able to go through and look at every single campaign in your account and know exactly what the goal and what the purpose is of that campaign. And this is a perfect example of what I mean. For me, when we look at structuring our account, we would start off with our search or our shopping campaigns, which is really targeting those high intent keyword searches. And then when we can no longer scale by increasing the budget on those search and shopping campaigns, or we're starting to notice that traffic is getting a little bit more expensive, that's when we can start to do one or two things. We could start a remarketing campaign to really go through and remarket those audiences that have already been on our websites, or we could introduce that Performance Max campaign or a new AI Max campaign. But when you do that, you just want to make sure that what you're doing is that you're making sure that you've got some correct segmentation between these different types of campaigns. So that you can remember our core foundation of Google Ads that you don't want multiple campaigns inside of your Google Ads account targeting the same keywords to the same audiences to the same locations. So really make sure that you've got your structure set up right inside of your Google Ads account so that you know very, very clearly the role and purpose of of each campaign inside of your account. And now let's talk about the third and final key point for success with Google Ads. And that is that you need to embrace the optimization loop of Google Ads. And this is something that I call the Google Ads success loop. And that is when you set up your campaigns, you then need to let some data happen. Then you go through, you look at that data, make optimizations, and then you wait for more data, and then you complete the process time and time and time and time again. A big mistake that a lot of people make when it comes to Google Ads is they're going in and making changes every single day and not allowing Google to really take into account the optimizations that you've made so that you can get more data. Success with Google Ads is really seen when you've got the right balance between your own optimizations and Google's AI and its data learning. And that's why it's really, really important that you need to make sure that you've got these two core things in place, your campaign set up right, and you're also optimizing your campaigns in the right way. If you follow the link in the description, you can get access to all of my campaign setup guides so that you can make sure you've got those campaigns set up right. And then once you've got those campaigns set up right, also follow that link to my optimized checklist so you can make sure that you are optimizing your accounts in the right way. One of the main benefits of that optimization checklist is it also lets you know how often you need to be making those changes inside of your Google Ads campaigns. And I wanna finish with this, especially when it comes to optimizing your Google Ads accounts, is that Google Ads is not scary when you understand what the data is telling you. And let me give you two important data points that you can really, really work on to increase your success with Google Ads. And the first one is your click-through ratio. And that is how many times people see your ad versus how many times people click on your ad. And the reason for why your click-through ratio is important is because it's letting you know are your ads relevant? And what you're really trying to find out here is people are seeing your ads 
is your ad copy compelling enough which is making them click on your ad? And if you're running a search campaign, you want your click-through ratio above 7%. You're running a shopping campaign, you want your click-through ratio above 1%. Now, obviously we wanna get higher than those metrics, but they're the baseline metrics we're looking at. And then the second metric you wanna be looking at is your conversion rate. Because what your conversion rate will tell you is, are your landing pages and your offers working? So firstly, with your click-through ratio, we're really finding out is your ad messaging and is your keyword targeting relevant? And if you've got that first step completed, the next step is to really work out is your offer and your landing page working? Because if you're sending people through to your landing page and you're not getting any conversions, you know that it's not a problem with your ad copy because they're clicking your ads. The problem is with your offer or your landing page. And the metrics you should be hitting there for a lead generation or a service-based business, your ad should be converting at 5%. And if you're an e-commerce brand, your ad should be converting at 3%. Now, once again, with those data metrics, we want them to be higher. And you may be asking, where did I get that data from? And that's actually data which is available from WordStream in their benchmarks survey. I'll also include the link for that in the description below. So thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. And as I mentioned earlier, that you do need to make sure that for success with Google Ads, you need to make sure you've got the correct setup with your Google Ads accounts. Now, remember, you can get the link in the description for all of my campaign setup guides. But if you're ready to set up your first search campaign, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Or if you're an e-com brand and you need to set up a shopping campaign, go and watch this video right here. See you next time.